weather and climate-related disasters cause loss of life and livelihoods. But if people are armed with timely information, they can prevent losses. People-centered, multi-hazard early warning systems save lives. CRUISE, the Climate Risk and Early Warning Systems Initiative, does just that. CRUISE is a multilateral fund that supports the most vulnerable countries by helping people understand the risks they face, monitor hazards, issue simple warning messages that reach everyone at risk, and know how to respond. Honiara, the capital of the Solomon Islands, is vulnerable to flooding. The city benefits from an early warning system that alerts them to rising water levels. In Fiji, capacity is enhanced by upgraded facilities at the Pacific Regional Headquarters in Nande. New automated weather facilities have been installed with a high-performance computer to better predict weather. This, in turn, helps non-deserved countries in the Pacific. Women often have unequal access to early warnings. In Burkina Faso, rural women contribute to the design of early warning systems to make sure they are tailored to their needs. <laughs> In Niger, Cruise supports efforts to link meteorological services with a disaster management system. To prepare for flooding, Cruise helps provide accurate and timely warnings to at-risk populations, strengthen civil protection capacities and provide high-priority equipment and communication means. But Cruise can do more. There is potential for upscaling these efforts. The crew's target funding goal is 100 million US dollars by 2020. With this support, additional countries can benefit. The need and demand are high. Together, we can lower the loss of life and livelihoods from weather and climate-related disasters. We can anticipate the impacts of climate change and do something about it. Dans le monde post accord de Paris, il n'est pas acceptable plus longtemps que des populations ne puissent être prévenues avant une catastrophe météorologique. On doit renforcer dès maintenant CROZ, qui a été lancé à Paris à la COP21, afin de permettre aux plus vulnérables où qu'ils soient de bénéficier d'une alerte précoce et efficace.